Hey guys, so I thought I'd do a video on crypto because I'm seeing some really bullish signals here and I think we're going to get a nice little run for at least a few weeks. And I just want to show you the key things to look out for and then let's actually look at some altcoins and see what's, what's looking good. So one of the things that I talked about with my students last week was that we were up here at the, you can see we went one, two, three, four, five up. And then from there, I was expecting a pullback. And what I said to them was, you're looking for confluency points to know where the buyer should step in. And you can see here, you've got the 382 with, combine that with all of this here. Okay. So you can see all these buyers have been here. They should have turned in, it shouldn't have got back through. The only reason it should have got through would be to either grab liquidity or continue the trend. So once it came up, you'd be looking for it to, for those buyers to step back in, which happened to align with the 382 it did. So while we're above this 57.4, we are in bullish market structure, okay? Because that is a zig, that is a zag, and now we're continuing the trend. Okay, so massive level for it to claim there. So since we've got that now, the other charts that I'm looking at are now altcoins, okay? Because there's a lot more upside on your altcoins if you can get in at the right price. And what I talked about a while ago was this. Um, so on the 5th of July, I said, I'm looking for a major bottom on alt in this circle zone. The area I've been waiting for since selling out in March. If I get a change of structure off that zone, I will look for confluency and rebuy my alt I sold in March. Moats are then 57.5, some are even more down since then. I will only buy on confirmation, just telling you my plan ahead of time, act on data, not fear and emotions. If it breaks below, things would get really nasty. Okay, so let me now show you what that is. That is where we are right now. It's always just about knowing your data points. Okay, you can see buyers, 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 and we should get buyers here again. So again, we don't just buy there. What we wait for is confirmation of the change of trend. And that is what I'm looking for here. And that is what I'm looking for off this zone here. right there because as you can see from that point there we have a lower low a lower high a lower low a lower high a lower low a lower high a higher low and then that would be a change of market structure from there what i would be expecting is at least a move up until this box here okay it just makes sense because what does everyone think is happening October, bottoms in, all that kind of thing. You know, the markets would be stupid to not grab this easy liquidity. Okay, it could be a major bottom. It could also be, nothing goes down a straight line, a zig, a zag, and then it rolls over. Okay, markets don't collapse when everyone's starting to get fearful and stuff like that as well. So I don't know which one it is yet. I'm prepared for both, but what I am prepared for is that I will be going long for the next month going into the election, okay? If we break that zone there. So if we break that, we change market structure. When you change market structure, it means one of two things. It means that that's the bottom and we're gonna take out the highs, or it means that you're going to get a reversal into your likely your golden pocket zone there. Okay, but that there will be many weeks, as you see 20th of, of October, you've got about a month of bullish action, which, you know, old coins can move really fast. Crypto is 24 seven. In a month data, you can get some really massive gains. So this is why I'm looking at these old coins now because we've hit my target. We're showing life on top of that. It's showing some really nice divergence going into the zone as well. So you can see here going into it, you can see from that low, which is this low, to that low, to that low, you got a higher low, lower low, another divergence, lower low, higher low. Okay, so you've got your bullish divergence weakening trend going in it, which would make sense to come back to that weakening trend point, which is that 382 as well. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm quite bullish. I think it will break. I'm just waiting for the confirmation to confirm it. And I think we're going to get a nice, easy run up to here, which will give us a mini old season. Once we get there, that's where then I'm going to be careful. Okay, because if I get a change of structure there, I'll be exiting my old coins. Because I personally believe the whole market will roll over during that point. The reason why, if you go back on history, the Fed cut rate, like I talked about, the 0.5, they haven't done out of the goodness of their heart. They've done it because they've broken something so bad. 
if you look back on history, tech bubble, GFC, things like that, after the 0.5 rate cut, you get a month of bullish action both times. That would align perfectly with this move up here as well. Month of bullish action, October, grab all that liquidity, then we'll see what happens. If we start to roll over from there, I'll be com completely exiting. But if we keep going, I ride the trend. So all it means is that I jump in on change in market structure and I will continue to hold the market structure just like I did here until it ex until it changed, which was here. Okay, so it's all about just knowing when your trends are going to reverse. All right, let's go and check out a couple of coins now and see if we can find some opportunity. Okay, the first thing you need to do is forget a project. It's all about, as a trader, entries. It's all about risk to reward. So you might look at this and go, oh, dot, it's a dead project, this or that. Forget that. It's all about, okay, what's my risk to reward? Where do I think it can get to? Where's my stop loss? What's my risk to reward here? So looking at this one on the daily here, you can see that we're getting bullish market structure, sorry, bullish divergence going into this bottom here, which is a good little blinker. So all we're waiting for that to do is change market structure here. Okay, if it does that, you'll be breaking out of this level here. Now I'm gonna zoom in. This is one I posted about just recently. So also down from there, so I've just come into the live feed, I just realized I wasn't there. Um, so from here, you can see we've changed market structure off here. Okay, so right now, resistance, resistance, resistance. Is it being flipped to support? And then before I look at that, I wanna go, okay, well, was there a weakening trend coming down? And I can see that, yes, we had bullish divergence coming down into it as well. So you can see here, you had your bullish divergence coming into your weakening trend. So we're actually expecting uh, a good bounce here. So what I'm looking for now is this one is rejecting the 618 as expected. Now what we wanted to do is buy us a step in either here or here and take out there. If it does that, you've got to change your market structure. And now we've got to go, okay, well now let's backtrack. All right, so now I need to be like, okay, well go, going back to the daily, where do I think this thing can come out to? And if I look at this, um, you want to look back and realize where's your points of confluency. So if I go here, go back, and I'll combine it with a nice trend-based fib extension. You start looking for little points of confluency where things could things could meet up, and you can see that one point that one point six one eight aligns with all of that. So there's a level there. See all of this. So that's going to be a bit, a bit of a level. In particular, this level here is really huge. The three eight two three. Eight, so, and then you can see that's this major support resistance. Okay. So, what that then means is I'm going to have a TP level that's closer, that kind of is a bit more guaranteed win, and a target, and a bit more of an out there target. Which, if it hits, boom, big win. And they're the ones that that make you money. All right, so from here, I need to work backwards now because that's my target. Then my two targets, I need to work my stop loss back. So going back into it, one hour. Once I get my entry, let's see if we can, see if we can pinpoint a little more now. All right, so let's say it bounced off. I'm just going to play it out. So let's say this resistance turns into support and we bounce up here. I can then take my entry here and put a stop loss below here. So that's what I'm working everything back with. Okay, so then from there, I can set my profit target. So long position from there to there. And then I can then look to see my areas that I'd already identified as targets. And you can see that one up there is a nearly a seven to one trade. Okay, the, one, the next one up, which was up, and the 650 is about a 20 to one trade. So that means I'm risking $1,000 to make $20,000 or $1,000 to make $6,000. I always use thousands because it's nice and easy to, I always, I always work on a 100K account because it's really easy to work out percentages and, and multiples, et cetera. So whenever you buy something, you always want to risk 1% of your account. If you got a 100K account, it's one grand. So that's what I mean when I say that. So then from there, we can work our way backwards from there and start to identify. And this is where, um, Vemac can come in 
really beautiful. So what I can do is go long position and I can go risk management. I can split it, add, I'm going to split evenly. I'm going to put my stop loss below, so either there or right now I might put it there. And then I can start to put in my take profits. So I've got one up here. I'm going to zoom out four hourly. Can I go about there? I did before. Okay, so this is the beauty of Vemma is that it actually does it all for you. So it tells you risk reward. So that's telling me that if I hit that target, I'm risking $1,000 to make $10,000. If I hit that target, I'm risking $1,000 to make $27,000. They're the kind of setups that you're after. They're the kind of trades that will make you money in your account. If you keep making these small wins back and forth, back and forth, then you'll never make any money because all you're doing is battling between stop losses and small wins. You need to have a couple. So that there is a 10, 10 to 1 trade, um, that one there. So but you can see how I've worked my way backwards to get my targets. And then you notice that those few extensions and retracement levels happen to align with your major support, all of your trap money. Look at all that trap money there. And again, trap money here as well. Okay, so working your way backwards. I posted about something like Sui before, and it, it's gone up and hit its dollar forty target. This is one I posted about it two days ago when we were back here. Okay, because what you had was a non phase swing. Selling higher, buying higher, change of market structure. You can't enter now because you're, if you're buying right now, you're literally buying at a major resistance support level. This was my take profit target. So what you needed to do is either reject and punch through, or it needs to come up and come back and test support. You know, if you were to buy this now, you're literally going straight in a battle. Why? You don't want to be going in a battle straight away. You want it to do the work for you, then you can jump in it and pick up the pieces. Okay. Okay, here's another one that I'm on and bing. See here, is that your resistance? Broken your downtrend, and you can see here, just fall on our market structure, buying lower, buying lower, 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 equal, something's changed. Selling lower, 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 and then all of a sudden, if this breaks up, what's it gonna be doing? Selling higher. So see how something changes? Buys stopped buying lower, sellers stopped selling lower, and then that's where then you'd be looking for your fear reversal. Okay. So same kind of thing from there. We then go, okay, well, the market structure is showing me it's weakening. Now let's look at our blinkers. I can see volumes starting to confirm it. Okay. So that's a good sign from here going down. We've had lots of buying pressure, so accumulation coming in. And then you can also see we've got blinkers here as well. Okay. So same thing from here as well. All right, so weakening trend, just need the market structure to confirm that one. And same thing, you've got a nice change of market structure there and a double bottom reversal, you beauty. Okay, here's another one, shit project, but I don't care. It's all about risk to reward. Look at it, easy, beautiful entry. Okay, what has it done here? It's changed market structure. So from there, high, 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 low, high, high. I then wanna go, okay, we've changed market structure. Let's work our way back. Buying lower, 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 equal. Why? Lower, lower, lower. If we start to get through, then we're starting to change. Okay, falling wedge. From there, I want to see are uh, my blinkers on? Yep. Okay, bullish divergence coming down into it. And volume is starting to support that move. And you can see that whole move has come down lower in volume as well. So some, some other nice little signals here. All right, so another one there. Again, it's all about risk to reward. So there from there is, you can see you've got to change your market structure. Let's just delete all this. You see you had a nice move up. You can see we bounced off our beautiful zag zone. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, ABC. We're about to go into the public participation phase. Okay, beautiful double bottom reversal off the zag zone. So now up. Testing this one, stop loss below here. So now again, we can work our way backwards. So let's do that. Let's get 
So we're going to go long here, stop loss below here, and let's add in another take profit as well, split them evenly. All right, now I'm going to zoom out and work my way backwards. So if we head up from here, which I'm expecting it to, again, let's work our way backwards. Okay, so from top, let's get a fib retracement level. From the recent, which was here, do some overlap. Okay, and then I'm going to do my trend based fib extension. All right, so you can see I've got a pretty good overlap here. We go to this level here, and look what it happens to align with. Major resistance support. Okay, so that'll be a big target, Fib 11382. So maybe it's an ABC and we just roll over. That'll be a zone, to, okay, so I have a TP1 there. Fib before. And then we're looking for another one. Then, ooh, look at this one, 1 1.618 and 618. Beautiful golden ratios, which also happens to align with major support. Look at that. All right, so then I can work my way back and go, all right, so from that entry there, stop loss, that's a two to one trade, that's a four to one trade. It's okay. Could it be better? Yep. So now I'm going to do is come back and go, all right, well, how can I make this one better? Right now, I've had a double bottom, we've come up. What I want to do is see whether or not this resistance flips into support. So let's say it did something like that and pushed off. What I can then do is know that I've pivoted off that line and bring my stop loss up. Because then what we've done is shown that the buyers have come up and we're going up. Now, if you zoom out, we start, look at the difference now, 15 to one, 34 to one. Okay, so it's all about waiting for confirmation, waiting for things to play out. Um, that's your safer bet now because of your big pivot. But what we're waiting for is to see whether or not it's going to pivot off here and continue. Then you can put a stop loss below just to give it a bit more breathing room. You might even want to put it under here because then you can see if you start breaking through there, you'd start to wonder why this resistance here, support, support, support didn't go. So you might do something like just in case it does a little bit of something like that. Okay, again, but doing something like that will still increase your R&R &R a lot more, but waiting for confirmation. But yeah, I'll leave it there, guys. But just so you know, um, you know, as you know, I've been sitting on my hands since March. I haven't, haven't traded crypto at all for six months. Um, and that's something you've got to think to yourself is if you have been, why? Unless you've been day trading in and out, in and out. If you've been actually trying to buy the dip and get why when it's been in your downtrend. Okay, it's all about waiting for your key points knowing when that changes, it's potentially about to change, which is why I'm looking at There's a really good risk to reward where we are. We just need that other's dominance to punch up. It's looking like it will. It had its blinkers on. Uh, and I think we'll get a nice decent run into that zag zone, into that kind of October-ish period election. See how things go from there. And then, um, yeah, and then play by ear. So hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Um, and let me know if there's any coins you're eyeing off and I'll have a look at them. If anything stands out, I will, I will include them in the next video. Like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everyone.